God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Uh, we were actually just behind where you're sitting now, in the car park. The cloud base was very low. We heard, this, we heard an aircraft with a very irregular engine noise. We thought it was a V1. But anyway, it wasn't a V1. And we heard a rending crash just through the trees here. So we raced up through the wood. But we only got halfway over there because the whole forest floor was strewn with debris. Uh, it was obviously been a complete disaster. Uh, no, the smell of aviation fuel was unbearable. And also, there was a bluey, uh, a greeny tinge to the air, like a fog. Major French, would you come and read the names? Lieutenant Dern F. Quinn. Lieutenant Walter Hayes. <clears throat> Dale Francis. Billy Bryan. Norman Nelson. Thank you. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age will not weary, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. <laughs> Well, I think it's as a not only a member of the armed forces, but as uh, a citizen, as a as a human being, it's important to recognize and remember those who went before us, those who paid the ultimate sacrifice and gave their lives to protect not only um, our freedoms, but really helped shape what the world looks like today because of the great sacrifice that they went to. So they are the heroes of. Um, a different generation and if we don't remember them, if we don't uh, take time and, and pause out of our schedule to reflect upon the sacrifice that they gave, we there's you know the chance that we may forget and it's just so important that we keep that at the forefront of our mind because uh, they gave up their lives so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we have today. I happened to find on the forest floor some distance away from the, the air crash, this fragment of aluminium. Green on one side, a bit of blue paint on the rear. Showed it to my late father who died about 10 years ago. And he suggested, um, because I was always finding odds and sods at that time from the war, that I either put it away in a box or saw it all the way through to try and get it back to 
the relatives. I mean, at that time, we knew all we knew was a plane had crashed. It's affected me in the sense that spiritually, I, I, I almost know these men. Uh, one of the most incredible feelings was when I went up to the crash site. Um, it felt like there was five pairs of eyes sort of watching you. You know, not not in a, a creepy sort of spirit, but um, you know, there was something or some somebody there. Um, and a final blessing for us all. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, and the commonwealth, and all people, unity, peace, and concord. And to us and all good God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you all, always. <coughs> Amen. Amen.